Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. Guys, this is Nathan here, and today I've come up with uh, a problem from uh, wave optics. I gave this problem to my students during the class, and uh, it's an easy problem but slightly on the conceptual side. So let's uh, discuss this problem. Here, the here is the problem uh, statement: An optical system is made uh, to observe interference pattern. On the screen, all the details are given as shown in the uh, diagram. The wavelength in the middle medium is given as shown, so it is given as lambda naught by four n naught in the medium of n naught. The sources used here are coherent. Find the condition so that the fifth maxima is formed at point P. And what will be the shape of fringes? So in this particular problem, there are few points which are very very important, and one is the what is the real meaning of uh, Um, wavelength in a medium and the second part is what exactly is uh, n lambda when we are writing in path difference or optical path length the concept of it so let's discuss here the concept part the wavelength in the medium is given as lambda m is equal to lambda air by refractive index all right now in this particular problem here it is given as lambda not by 4 and not in the medium of mu not so first thing which we are going to get from here is lambda air is lambda not by 4 so sometime uh, students make mistake when they take lambda air as lambda not because we are habitual of taking as uh, lambda not uh, the same thing happened in the class when i gave uh, with changed medium uh, in a different problem so many students made a mistake in that part so just be careful the lambda air is lambda not by 4 And not lambda not. The first thing is this. Now again here, the since fifth maxima is formed at point P, it is given that uh, fifth maxima is formed. So we can write optical path difference at that point P is phi times lambda air. Now when we talk about optical, we talk about uh, air or vacuum. In that case, so this will become wavelength in the air. So phi lambda air. and uh, we have delta x as uh, phi air is uh, lambda in air is lambda not by 4 so this is given to us phi lambda not phi lambda not by 4 is the path difference now let's come to the original system here and one light ray directly is reaching point p and another light ray is reaching from s1 to p through two different mediums so in this part you can say if i write optical path length uh, from s1 to p here it is traveling distance of d in the medium of 3n not so corresponding to this path length will become 3n not d then in the medium of n not distance of d again so this will become n not into d and finally in the medium of 2n not it is traveling a distance of capital d so 2n not into d whereas for optical path length 2 here opl2 i can write simply 2n not into d now when i take the difference of these two i will get the path difference between these two and uh, i'll equate it to phi lambda by 4 so in this situation you'll be getting we are getting from here 3 and 4 2 and 2 will get cancelled so 4 n not into small d is equal to the path difference for fifth maxima which is phi lambda air so phi lambda not by 4 so from here i am getting the condition that 16 n not d is equal to phi lambda not and this is going to be the final answer for this part problem and uh, shape of fringes you can see if i take light rays then uh, refraction refraction and finally a light ray will reach here and this will be symmetrical throughout this because sources are perpendicular to the screen so it will be symmetrical so shape of fringes will become circular in this case so this is it in this uh, problem and guys uh, this is uh, about compete it was launched on 3rd of october and uh, you can compete against your peers in uh, one to one battle of uh, physics chemistry maths it is a very nice feature of an academy so my suggestion would be those who are on the an academy they can definitely practice this and it is quite popular among the students because uh, rank and leaderboards are generated in that and uh, yes in every 15 days uh, the the topper of leaderboard will be winning a laptop and there are many other prizes you can uh, log into this website 
in order to participate in uh, compete and it is uh, you know such a fun way in order to improve your problem solving skills there are very good problems also and uh, let's see uh, let me know in the comment section if you are already enjoying the compete part and uh, that's it guys in this video and uh, i'll be coming up with the another video very soon thank you thanks for watching this